Now let's take a look at the operation of the Eaton Hybrid Power System. There are two reasons why the proper operation of the system is critical. First, familiarity with the unique sounds and feel can help you differentiate between normal operations and potential problems. Second, good driving habits allow you to take full advantage of the fuel savings. First, let's take a look at the in-cab shift console. Notice that there are several standard and optional selectable positions depending on your vehicle. R selects the reverse mode. N selects neutral, which is used for power up and power down. D selects the drive mode. And M selects the manual mode. The up and down buttons are used in the manual mode to select upshifts and downshifts and to change start gear if available. The service indicator alerts the driver of potential transmission problems. The shift console may also include three optional modes including EPTO, APG, and low. EPTO enables and disables the electric power takeoff mode. The engine will start and stop as needed to maintain sufficient charge in the high voltage batteries. APG enables and disables the auxiliary power generator on vehicles equipped with that feature. Low selects the low mode. Integrated into the dash is the gear display unit. This will look different depending on the manufacturer of the truck, but displays the same information. The gear display shows both the current gear position of the transmission and important driver information if needed. A dash indicates the transmission may be locked in gear or cannot pull to neutral. OS in the gear display indicates a motor generator overspeed condition caused by excessive vehicle speed. CA in the gear display indicates a driver initiated clutch abuse situation. The hybrid system does not have a hill hold feature and the service brakes must be used when launching from an inclined surface. PD indicates the vehicle is in a diagnostic mode. This mode will not allow the vehicle to start. Turn the ignition key to the off position and allow the system to power down for a minimum of two minutes. For more details on gear display information, please refer to the Hybrid Driver Instruction Booklet TRDR1000. Now, to start your hybrid vehicle, turn the ignition key to the on position and allow the hybrid to power up. During power-up, you'll notice that all the lights on the shift console will light up and turn off after two seconds. A solid red service light after this power-up indicates a transmission issue. Next, confirm that the parking brake is set and the gear display shows a solid end for neutral. To start the engine, you'll need to hold the key until the engine starts since there is a slight delay. The sound you hear will be faster than normal because the primary cranking system is the hybrid drive motor. Please note that cycling the key twice may cause the vehicle to enter the product diagnostic mode, which will prevent the vehicle from starting. In the event this occurs, exit by turning the ignition key off for two minutes. If the hybrid system is offline or the hybrid batteries are not sufficiently charged, the standard cranking system will crank the engine. If the service switch on the PEC has been pushed in, the amber check hybrid lamp will blink. After startup, select a gear to move the vehicle. The gears available depend on the type of hybrid vehicle you are driving. Typical delivery vehicles have an RNDML push button shift control. This stands for reverse, neutral, drive, manual, and low. Reverse is available in all hybrid applications. The vehicle should be stopped before you press or release the reverse button. The shift control does not let you select reverse if the vehicle is moving at two miles per hour or greater. The drive mode is available in all hybrid applications. Pressing and releasing D puts the vehicle in the default starting gear and then automatically selects gears. Manual mode should be used whenever the driver needs to select the gears instead of letting the hybrid system select them automatically. Pressing and releasing M allows the driver to hold the current gear and manually select the appropriate gear for road conditions using the up or down buttons. Note the transmission will upshift automatically if an overspeed situation is detected. Also available in some hybrid applications is the low mode. 
pressing and releasing L downshifts the transmission at the earliest opportunity for maximum engine braking. At higher RPMs, the engine upshifts to provide maximum engine power. To shut down the hybrid vehicle, select neutral on the shift console and then set the parking brakes. Turn off the ignition and allow the engine to shut down. You will hear an audible clicking noise, which is the normal calibration of the automated transmission. Next, let's discuss operation of the hybrid power modes. The power modes include running on the electric motor only, running with both motor and engine, running with the engine only, and braking. Drivers can't select when the motor or engine runs. Operating in electric only mode increases vehicle fuel mileage, lowers emissions, and reduces noise levels. When in the electric only mode, the DC power from the batteries is inverted to AC power for the motor generator, which turns the transmission. The transmission then drives the rear wheels. The vehicle is typically in electric only mode when accelerating from a stop. Because the diesel engine is idling in this mode, the cab will remain quiet. The vehicle can be in parallel hybrid or motor boost mode at any time, but typically operates when the vehicle is moving at a steady speed. When in the parallel hybrid mode, the engine and motor generator are both supplying torque to drive the rear wheels. The diesel engine revs up from idle and the clutch engages, allowing torque to transfer from the engine's flywheel to the input shaft. Here, just as in the electric only mode, the DC power from the batteries is inverted to AC power for the motor generator, which turns the transmission, allowing it to drive the rear wheels. You'll hear a distinct change in sound when the diesel engine revs and when the vehicle goes back to electric only mode. The conventional mode of operation is rare and only occurs when the high voltage batteries have a low charge, when driver demand is high, or when there is a fault in the hybrid system. When in the conventional mode, only the engine is supplying torque to drive the rear wheels. The diesel engine revs and the clutch engages, allowing torque to transfer from the engine's flywheel to the input shaft. For more details on vehicle operation of the Eaton Hybrid Power System, please refer to the Road Ranger Driver Instruction Manual.